What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be very different. It's going to be short and I hope fun. We're going to learn 10 words with the help of famous people whose surnames mean something in English. Consequently, remembering these words will be a piece of cake. Are you ready? If so, grab your notebook and a pen and let's kick off! So, I'm gonna mention 10 very famous people. More often than not, we say their surnames without realizing or knowing that they actually mean something in English. So, we're going to learn 10 words effortlessly. Let's start with one of my favorite male singers and songwriters, James Blunt. So, blunt can mean two things. The first meaning, blunt is the opposite of sharp. For example, this pencil is blunt. And another meaning is saying what you think in a very direct way. For example, I'll be blunt. I don't want to see you ever again. Now let's move on to the Scottish actor that I also like, Gerard Butler. Butler means the main male servant in a large house. For example, have you seen the movie The Butler? Let's continue number three, the American actor Nicolas Cage. A cage is a structure made of metal bars or wire in which animals or birds are kept. And for this word, I've got an example sentence from the song I Know Places by Taylor Swift. And she sings, they got the cages, they got the boxes and guns. The other hunters were the foxes and we run. Number four, we've got another American actor, Bradley Cooper. A Cooper is a person who makes barrels used for keeping wine, beer, etc. For example, his great-grandfather was a cooper. Let's continue with American actors. Number five, Tom Cruise. Long U and Z at the end. Cruise. It has different meanings. It can be a noun, meaning a journey on a large ship for pleasure. For example, I've never been on a cruise. It can be also a verb, to cruise, meaning to travel on ships for pleasure. And very curious, to cruise also means to drive for pleasure. For example, they cruised the streets on Friday night. And one more meaning of to cruise is to move in a relaxed and pleasurable way. An example sentence, I cruised through college. My classes were all so easy. And one more example from the song Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. And she sings, but I keep cruising, can't stop, won't stop moving. And before we continue with five more famous people, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe to English Bits and your bell icon is on. Thank you. Let's continue. We've got another American actor, Ryan Gosling. So, a Gosling is a young goose. For example, my friend has two Goslings. Number seven, the British model, Kate Moss. Or British pronunciation, Moss. Moss is a very small green or yellow plant without flowers that spreads over damp surfaces, rocks, trees, etc. An example sentence, the rocks are covered with moss. Let's continue. Number eight, we've got the American actor Chris Pine. A pine is an evergreen tree with leaves like needles. This is a pine tree. An example sentence about me, 
I used to put up a pine tree at Christmas when I lived in Ukraine. And by the way, this is a pine cone. And it can be also a verb to pine for something or someone, which means to strongly desire something or someone, especially something difficult or impossible to obtain. And I've got an example sentence from the song Dress by Taylor Swift. And she sings, all this silence and patience, pining in anticipation. Speaking of Taylor Swift, her surname also means something in English. Swift is an adjective that means happening or moving very quickly and immediately. An example sentence, we must take swift actions. And last but not least, one more American singer, Britney Spears. A spear is a weapon with a long wooden handle and a sharp metal point. For example, many ancient civilizations used spears for fishing. And now to sum up, let's look at all the words that we have learned today thanks to famous people. We've learned eight nouns that are butler, cage, cooper, cruise, gasling, mass, pine, and spear. We've also learned two adjectives that are blunt and swift. And also two verbs, to cruise and to pine. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this different kind of lesson. If you did, please let me know in the comments below so that I can make one more edition for you in the future. And of course, if you learned something new or simply enjoyed this English bit, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. Thanks for having watched this lesson and see you next week. Ciao!